Hi, this is Style and Grace coming at you. This is part three of how to make the rhinestones. Okay, so here go the finishing touch, the finishing job, and I'm gonna show you how we got to that. So I did one in yellow. And so here go the mock-up. I have my sponge that I told you was a paint edger that I got from the hardware store and I spent maybe about $2.99 on it. And I have this right here and I'm going to cut another piece of the um, transfer tape, which is right here. And I'll show you how I got to that. So I measured a little bit outside of the perimeters of um, the lips. And I'll just use um, this piece that I have right here, which, cause you can also use this as the um, holder for the rhinestones until you're ready to use it. So these are my size tens. What I did was I poured it on the design. You can pour a lot. And I took this and I went back and forth around in circles, back and forth, back and forth. And if you mess up like I did, you could just move this, move it over. I think it's best for you to get a rhinestone scooper, and I believe you can get it off a of rhinestone world. That'll help you scoop the rhinestones back onto the design. But for now, I'm just going to use this paper plate that I have. And I'm going to scoop it into the paper plate. Sorry about that, but I don't want to stop the and scoop it onto the design. You can use whatever you want to use to scoop it back on. I like to hold it. And do it softly. And just keep going around and around in circles until your little holes fill up. Now, it may not be as easy as it seems. See, when I pull it away, how, how many of the holes get filled in? And continue to do it until the holes get filled in. And your finishing design will be This right here, and this is the way it looks without the backing on it. Ta da! That is gorgeous. And I just put the backing on it so you can see it a little bit closer. I'm trying to get that shadow out of here. Let me zoom in. Ta-da! That is so nice. And that's how you make a rhinestone template from scratch to finish. Now you can leave this back and on until you're ready to put it on something or put it on a t-shirt to iron it on. But I, I literally did put these lips on a hat and I did it at the, sched, the um, setting of 309, but you don't have to. I like to leave it on for three minutes, then I take it up, then I put it down again for another three minutes or so. As long as you have a sheet in between your heat press and the clothing, it should not burn it. I've sat and had vinyl 
on t-shirts for like maybe five minutes, six minutes, forgot I had put it on, went into the bathroom, like brushed my teeth and washed my face. It was like eight or nine minutes later, came back, shirt was perfect. The vinyl was stuck to the shirt. I'm not suggesting you do that because this is rhinestone or I'm not suggesting anybody do that, but I'm saying it may not be as dangerous as you think. Just make sure you have that Teflon sheet in between it, the proper one that you're supposed to have. I would deal with rhinestone world. I deal with um, anybody that has the rhinestone, the proper utensils that you need to use. The, this paint um, worked just as, just as good. You know, I had got this when I had picked up everything from YouTube. But I don't like the paper. I suggest that you get the proper um, rhinestone making um, paper. And I know it's called um, Magic Sticky Flock. I suggest you get the proper one because th that one I don't like. You had to hold it. But this is Grace coming at you. Styling Grace. Styling Grace Chronicles. Subscribe. Subscribe. Get your friends to sub subscribe. I'm doing um, a lot of tutorials coming up. I'm doing how to make your, do your own mock-ups. I'm also doing um, how to make invitations. I did some invitations for my grandson. I kind of messed them up a little bit. I forgot to put the date on them, but the actual outside of how I made it. And I did a couple of um, mock-ups myself, but my... Next favorite tutorial that I'm going to do is how to do your own t-shirt mock-ups or um, cup mug mock-ups and put upload your design onto it and then save it all and you can have that to show to your clients. So stay tuned, stay tuned, subscribe, subscribe, get other um, women to subscribe to my channel. The more you subscribe. The more recognition I get and the more I can upload and make sure that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. So this is Style and Grace. Take care. Bye-bye.